Hey, ladies and gentlemen, got some great news for all you would-be iOS 5 jailbreakers out there. You can indeed jailbreak iOS 5 Final, the public edition of iOS 5. It is jailbreakable, as I'm going to show you here. The first thing you want to do, though, is once you install your firmware, just go through, set up everything. Um, go ahead and set up your Wi-Fi address, things like that, and get to your home screen. Make sure, though, that your iPhone is activated. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the uh, AT&T logo or whatever whatever service you use, service provider you use, make sure it is activated before doing this. Next, just go ahead and put your phone in a DFU mode like that, and then load up Red Snow 0.9.9 .9 Beta 3, and then go ahead and select IPSW from the Extras menu, and then you wanna find your firmware file, the IPSW file, it should be in Library, iTunes, iPhone Software Updates on the Mac, and then you'll see your firmware there. Go ahead and click on Open, It'll say it's successfully identified, click OK. And then all we need to do is go back and click on jailbreak. And then it'll go through its thing. You already had the phone in the DFU mode, so it'll just mosey on through. Just have to click next one more time on install Cydia. Once you click next, it'll initiate the jailbreak process just like that. So pretty straightforward. It is a tethered jailbreak. That's the only unfortunate part of this jailbreak, but tethered is better than nothing in my opinion. So now it is downloading the jailbreak data. This is familiar, all your little matrix screen there. And it'll just go through here and get everything set up accordingly. Now the only unfortunate part of this jailbreak is that it is tethered, meaning you will have to perform a tethered boot every time you wish to reboot your device or your battery dies or something like that. As far as an untethered jailbreak, that is still being talked about and we'll have to wait and see what the future holds for that. So we're almost done here. Jailbreaking the file system, moving applications. This usually takes the longest, and I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a bit just to get through this for you guys. And we should start moving along right now. Installing bundles and rebooting. Okay, so now we should be almost back to our home screen. And about there we go. Okay, so now we should be back to our home screen. The city app icon will be white, indicating that this is a tethered jailbreak. So what we need to do now is to put our phone back into DFU mode and then go back to Red Snow, go to your extras menu, and then click on just boot. This will perform a tethered boot. And this allows you to get back to your iPhone's home screen with Cydia being operational, et cetera, et cetera. Anytime you reboot your phone, like I was saying, you're going to need to, to perform this tethered boot. Just put your phone into DFU mode Go to the extras menu and click just boot. It's really that simple. So it's not as big of a headache as some make it out to be, but it is a little bit inconvenient, especially when you're out and about and your phone dies. Okay, so now patching files. And we should be almost back, ready to go. You'll see the little pineapple logo, and that indicates that a tether boot is in process. And this shouldn't take much longer. I'm going to speed it up here. All right, now we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock our device and let's see what the Cydia logo looks like right about now. So let's unlock. There we go. That's the Cydia logo we know and love. So now we just set up Cydia. And let's search for a jailbreak tweak, SB settings. I highly recommend you try out the new SB settings with Notification Center. Check the video on our YouTube page for SB settings for iOS 5. Folks, that is how you jailbreak iOS 5 final version. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.